Hi everyone, I am Apelele Sawodi. I'm 28 years old. I'm originally from East London and I'm currently residing in Johannesburg. I'm currently self-employed and I'm pushing my company which I registered in April with my business partner. Our company focuses on recruitment, background screening as well as promotional activations. So I'm pushing that and trying to make it a success. And then secondly, on the side that I'm doing is also I'm pushing a ceramicist who's based in Cape Town. So what I do for him is mainly um, on the brand management side of things. So I'm, I'm helping him to get his, get his work out there and also um, to help him to be a success. So those are the two current things that I'm doing. And Current song that I'm loving um, would have to be Kelly Kumalo's A Live For Love. It's a song that I've uh, heard a long time ago, but recently I heard it again and it just struck a chord within me. And it's just um, how I've, I've always been as well. I've always been a sucker for love. And um, yeah, a line from the song. Ooh, guys. Are you ready for my voice? <laughs> um, I live for love And nothing's gonna get me down I live for love Oh, I live for love So yeah I've never been asked this question of what is perfect womanhood So I'm gonna try and answer it to the best of my ability for me, perfect womanhood um, is synonymous with strength and being enough. Strength, I mean that we as women, we have so much that um, is against us. Um, in the world that we live in, in the society that we live in, we are considered to be second class citizens because men are put first before women and we as women are strong in nature because of how we are built inside and i feel like that for me has been an amazing part about women that no matter what you give her a woman will always um succeed a woman will always prevail a woman will always um be determined to yeah to succeed also um being enough it's knowing that no matter what it is that the world as i said is putting on your shoulders and that you are trying to to do um in order to 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 get above that and you at the end of the day that knowing that you are enough that there's there's nothing else that that needs to to come and, 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 and make you who you are. Um, again, with the society that we live in, with all these, um, these standards that are put up upon women, that you have to look a certain way, you have to behave a certain way, you have to, to be obedient, or you have, to, um, you have to do certain things in order to be accepted, and things that you know men can do, but women can't do. So I feel like being enough, knowing that you yourself are enough, that is also part of being, um, being part of yeah, a perfect woman. Um, oh, what else? I think, I think those two for me are the two things that stand out. It's strength and, and being enough, knowing that you are enough. Is it achievable? Yes, it is achievable. Um, as I feel that we as women are ever growing, we are adaptable and we can get to that point of, of knowing that we are enough and to have the strength that is within us and that we are capable of. I mean, a Beyonce song says, who runs the world, girls. And for me, it's who runs the world, it's women. I mean, women are the backbone of society. So, yes, it is achievable, definitely. Um, 
me myself i've learned quite a lot to get me to the point where i am i can i can say fully that i'm stronger than i was before i'm more in tune with who i am and i know that i am enough and that has come through my lived experiences things that um i've had to you know maneuver through life and all of those things i've had a lot of people ask me how do you do it and i do it because i have to at the end of the day and i think that part i owe to being a woman i really do think i do owe that part to being a woman so yeah thanks for watching bye